Hello, Professor Michalsan. We are glad to have you with us. Um, and uh, because uh, you are in an maybe unusual situation, being as a pneumologist, uh, doc uh, doctor in a um, COVID hospital here in Romania, we have a, um, a unique situation having COVID hospitals where, where we bring uh, all the people with COVID and uh, uh, COVID free hospitals, uh, some other hospitals across the country. So you are working with a lot of patients after COVID infection, COVID, COVID disease, and uh, also uh, you are working with the staff uh, involved in um, uh, care of this kind of patient. What it is your experience with your colleagues, co-workers, uh, patients uh, regarding sleep? Concerning um, evolution of uh, COVID uh, pandemic in Romania, we had two waves. The second wave was very important. And of course, uh, lung physician are on first line. And uh, we are suffering because we are in first line. We are speaking only about COVID and COVID and other comorbidities. And this brought a uh, uh, huge uh, serial of uh, problems in our services. Uh, first of all, what I have to say, uh, it is this um, uh, induced problem for health workers. It's a huge difference between the health workers um, who are uh, still working uh, active in COVID uh, uh, sections, in COVID uh, departments, and others who are in non-COVID departments. But all, for all, uh, sleep became a huge problem because uh, I observe in these self workers um, um, excessive uh, fatigue. Uh, some of them uh, have uh, insomnia problems, and others have this uh, post traumatic uh, sleep uh, disorders with uh, all that means um, changing of habits, of sleep habits. Uh, of course, um, we are lung physician, and uh, our duty was uh, in this moment uh, um, to take care of these patients. But these patients, what we observe, um, they have so many comorbidities and um, first line, of course, is uh, association with uh, lung cancer. Uh, second line with all that means uh, cardiovascular diseases. And uh, not on uh, first places, it's coming all uh, concerning um, uh, respiratory chronic diseases. Sleep apnea syndrome was not so frequent uh, from old or new patients in our services, but we adapt uh, all uh, our labs to this new situation where the primary uh, direction was to take care of um, the COVID uh, patients with a specific treatment and uh, in the second uh, line to see exactly how we can manage the other comorbidities. And, and uh, patients with the post-COVID, post -COVID, uh, how they are complaining about their sleep, they have anxiety yes. or... Uh, post-COVID patients are now uh, raising as number with all the consequences, of course, uh, uh, we have uh, many patients with depressive uh, syndrome, with uh, anxious uh, syndrome, and uh, uh, with uh, lung failure. This is on the first line where we need to invest uh, and to, to take care of excessive uh, associating um, oxygenotherapy, uh, non-invasive ventilation, and uh, um, rehabilitation. This is our first uh, movement and the um, benefits uh, have, to, uh, have um, to, had to be evaluated in the next months. Uh, nobody knows exactly what is a specific therapy, but we observe that kinetic therapy is one of the major actions with good uh, uh, benefits in time. So to conclude, we can say that um, you are facing now uh, many sleep problems, some of them um, 
in uh, patients who had suffered COVID and they are still uh, scared and uh, some other in uh, workers, healthcare workers, which also have insomnia or uh, excessive fatigue and hypersomnolence and PTSD, post-traumatic yes, stress the disorder. Yes, the problems are really hard problems also for um, our patients and also for our staff. Both need uh, a certain uh, focused uh, treatment and uh, uh, some assistance also from psychologists, but also uh, um, surveillance in time to diminish this uh, echo of uh, COVID uh, problems. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh,